In this session, we'll take a look at creating mesh lights. Now this is done using the gap of three nodes, so if I hover over this and hit E, then I can right click on this box, add 3D light, mesh light, and then you can middle mouse button drag your geometry path onto the source mesh parameter. You can see the transform attributes are not being transferred over to the mesh light. So what we want to do is copy over the transform attributes. Now any information related to a geometry will be displayed in the attributes tab. So if I go into my attributes tab and then select the primitive and then you can go down to X form and then see the uh, transformation that's applied to it. So what we can do is copy this over and paste it over to the parameters or what we can also do is middle mouse button drag the the attribute over to the parameters like so. So if I send off a quick render to see what we have. Now right now we can't see our mesh light because it is not set to visible to camera. So if I send this off and then what you can do is control backslash that will repeat the last render. What we have over here is a shadow from our original geometry. So what we could do is prune it. So the prune node, if I hit tab and prune, will basically be able to remove any part of the scene graph. Now if I hover over this and hit E, then I can middle mouse button drag my primitive path directly in here. Now if I repeat my last render by control backslash, then we don't have that shadow displaying anymore. So if I go back into my mesh light parameters, then I can start editing its material parameters. And I'm just going to drag this across over here. Um, now I've predefined these values already, so I'm just going to type these in. So it's a bright blue, and then I'm just going to increase the intensity. So if I repeat that, then we have light. I'm just going to bring this up. And we're pretty much done creating a mesh light. So in the next episode, I'm going to dive a little deeper into the Gaffer 3 node. Mm -hmm.